Hi, hey, Math Scrappy friends. It's Michelle the Stamp Booker, and I'm back today to do a a um a layout, um a school layout, a back to school layout, and this is for a um YouTube series, and it actually debuted yesterday, and I am late. Um, I have plans to scrapbook this photo of my son. It's his first day of sixth grade. He's now a college sophomore. I have the 6x6 six six Echo Park pad. And then I have a lot of different embellishments. Um, and I have my new Diamond Punch. And I am inspired. Okay, so I got this Diamond Punch because I was inspired by Sarah at Sarah Scraps. She made a really cool layout. I think it was a bunch of diamonds down this side and then I bought it and then I still haven't used it shame on me and then my friend Laura Alberts used it for a school layout and she made a vertical column down the middle and I think yes I think that's what I'm going to do and um, I'm not sure what else but I'm gonna punch a bunch of diamonds out of this paper um, she ended up putting like little puffy stickers in each of the diamond shapes and I don't have any puffy stickers that are school themed that I know of, but I do think I can still make a version, maybe like layer this several times and maybe frame out this white with some red and blue maybe. Just kind of take the colors off the shirt. It has red and blue and yellow and green. It's perfect. Anyway, um, I will be back with my completed layout. Hey there, I'm back with my completed layout. It took me, I started it yesterday, completed it today. Um, I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, I use kind of a hodgepodge of stuff, but mostly paper from this Echo Park Back to School by Lori Whitlock. And then I think um, a paper or two out of this School Days from Cartabella. And um, and then a friend of mine, Jeannie Linguini from The Girl Cave. I think that's what her YouTube channel is called. She had said something about this Miss Kate die cuts and I found these on Amazon and look at all these die cuts and I had other die cuts to choose from um I had these echo park ones and I had these hip kit ones but I I just decided to go with these and then so then I started trying to work on a title and um lots of options but i forgot I got these in my hip kit club. I got like a grab bag box and look perfect because it has the sixth right here. So I can keep using these for um, more school layouts. And, um, and then the white acrylic is a um, current it's a current product from Close to My Heart, White Alphabet Acrylics Z6059. And I'll try to put a link down below. Then some of this other acrylic is from a retired acrylic from Close to My Heart. The DAY is a foam alphabet set I got from the dollar store like years ago. And um, this grade 14 grade and then that's supposed to be 2014 to 2015 um that is a tim holtz Sizzix alphabet die this i think is a brad from a echo park probably fall collection and then um i just grabbed some red stars here and here from who knows where they're from and um Let's see, some acrylic, I mean, wood stars to kind of go with the six. Anyway, I didn't, I decided not to do any journaling. I thought about hiding some journaling underneath with uh, some, uh, like maybe a hidden 
tag or pull up tag. And um, what I've decided is, well, okay, so I'm very behind. And um, let me back up. So the theme of this hop from Paper Crafters YouTubers is I'm fully booked. And so um, how I incorporated that theme is I have not scrapbooked my children. Um, they're both grown now and I have not scrapbooked their school years. And so, I mean, just a little bit here and there, but not enough to put in an album or anything. I'm sorry, I'm fiddling with this. I am waiting for a new trimmer blade. Um, so, um, I am fully booked with <laughs> making school layouts, right? I have another one coming up that I will make and post for Saturday the 10th of 2022. And um, it will also be a school layout. But, okay, so I kind of went down a tangent. But what I was trying to say is, um, I plan on this being like the left-hand side of a layout. And then I'm going to make a right-hand side. And it may be a pocket page. And I will um, incorporate some of the same papers. And I will go into more detail about um, his first day of school. Because this was like... The first time that he actually was excited to go to school and um, and then I have also I found a Facebook post you know I like to go through my memories and I found how how much he weighed and how much how tall he was so I'll add that and then I'll also um, I have a screenshot of what one of his teachers said when she saw him that first day and how he looked really happy so, um, this is just the start of it, but I'm happy to have started. You've got to start somewhere, right? Um, I hope I've inspired you to scrapbook your children's school years as well. And if you have any questions, um, just post them down below. And I, I like to, I look at every comment and I try to answer any and all questions. So, Anyway, thank you for stopping by. I know there's lots of YouTubers to watch, so I am honored that you stopped by my channel. Have a great day. Bye.